Well, let me just start with the food because one of the things, I'm not sure if this is the first time the globe you're doing it, but you're known to have to pick things that are very fresh and local and you go to a certain farm and you make sure that everything is like, you know, as it should be, um, seeing it in action. So can you tell me about that process of putting the farm to table for this year's Golden Globes? Well, a lot of my inspiration actually came from my own backyard. I have a garden at home, uh, so I grew sweet potatoes for the first time, so I wanted to use sweet potatoes. So we did the sweet potato dishes swap. Oh my God. Uh, I partnered with a local farm in Oxnard called Scarborough Farms, and the micro chives that we're using as the garnish, they planted specifically for us, for the Golden Rose. Um, I went up there myself when they were planting and helped plant some of the seeds for oh, the micro chives. So I think it's just really important to know where your produce is coming from and uh, it's, it's just, you know, I just began to father this year and it has even more oh, importance right. to me. Oh, wow. yeah. It's funny you mention that because I was talking to somebody, I don't want to go off too much, but about to the children, you know, we got to make sure they're aware of knowing where our ingredients are coming from and not getting to cut up the commercialization of things. Of course. It's, you know, it's just that much more important to set that example for the future generations and to, to set them up for, for being healthy adults. Is there anything else uh, new you're trying for the first time this year? Uh, the honey nut squash, which is the vegetarian alternate, um, that's, that's, I love honey nut squash. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's, I love it's, it too. It's a hybrid squash. It was actually developed by a chef. Uh, and it was developed for its flavor. So a lot of times when there's uh, produce that's been developed in some way, hybrid, things like that, it's developed to be more... Uh, to grow better, to grow bigger, faster, stronger, whatever. Uh -huh. This was developed to be more flavorful. Okay. And you're doing it in what kind of? Uh, yeah, is, is that it right there? Or? That's this is the plate right here. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So it's a uh, roasted honey nut squash. Oh my god, that looks great. And then we have a pio pepper hummus on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then it's stuffed with a uh, braised rainbow shard. Quinoa, chickpeas, and golden raisins. So is that going to be like the starter, one of the starters? Or? No, this is the, the alternate. So oh, this is for our uh, vegan guests. For the vegan. So can you walk us through the start to the finish of what you have prepared for the guests? Yes. So for the first course, we have a sweet potato vichy swap, garnished with the micro chives and pepitas. And then for the main course, we have a Chilean sea bass with forbidden black rice, mm. uh, grilled carrots, and asparagus. Black rice is very trendy. I wasn't even aware it was. Really? I just I decided to use it. Uh, I like the, the color of it. Yeah. The contrasting color with the Chilean sea bass and the dark rice. And then different colored vegetables. It's just it's very colorful. Is it hard for you as a chef sometimes to come? Because these celebrities, I mean, obviously they have strict diets now, but everyone's having a strict diet. They eat, you know, vegetarian. I don't know if that makes it harder for you as a chef to have these limitations, or is it more exciting because you can you know, uh, experiment with vegetables and all types of foods. Sometimes it can be challenging, but it also, it, it pushes us to be a little bit more creative, to work in different ways and not just use the same things that we've been using over and over. And really, it pushes us to create new dishes and come up with new things. And it's not just for the Golden Globes. We do it all the time where yeah. we create custom menus and, and we deal with special requests. And there's so many allergies and dietary restrictions that we have to deal with. And, it's, it's a part of our job now. It's not just a secondary thing. It's becoming a really significant part of our job. Yeah. Is that your biggest challenge, or is there other things? That, what, what our biggest, biggest challenge is finding space for everything. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> finding space. Space, right? I mean, we, for the day of the Golden Globe, we'll serve about 10,000 meals. Oh, just so, get back in the kitchen and So everything. literally just finding, right. some, finding space to work. Oh, finding yeah. space to store everything. Finding space to, to move around. It becomes like four or five years. <laughs> There's so much congestion going on and, and so many people and moving parts, it's just, you're you're always fighting for space. And everything is timed apparently, like they only have 45 minutes to eat. So I guess you have to just make sure everything is prepared in advance. I mean. Yeah, we have, uh, we know exactly how long everything's going to take, you know, how long it's going to take us to the food to cook, how long it's going to take to plate it, how long it's going to take to serve the food, so... We've practiced this so many times with so many other events that we know exactly what we need to do at the right time. What is the most valuable skill that you appreciate from your workers in the kitchen? 
Uh, attention to detail. Really just focusing on things, making sure the season, things are seasoned properly, cooked properly, uh, placed in, in a delicate manner, not just thrown on a plate. Uh, it's just really important. And in general, you being a chef, I mean, what's kind of like been your story in terms of growing into the chef that you are and where you want to take that? I really think it starts with the farms. Um, you know, when I first started, the first kitchen I worked in, I worked with a local organic farmer, and that's how I created specials every day. And they were based off of what they were sending us. We had them send us whatever they had growing at the time, and we would just create dishes with it. That's kind of how I developed as a chef. Uh, what's your most favorite thing to cook at home? Uh, I love to barbecue. Uh, I love being in the backyard. It's not just the, the food itself, I guess it's also the atmosphere, being yeah. outside and working over a grill. That's just probably my favorite yeah. thing. Well, you have one of the best jobs. Um, I found myself a private chef, so. Um, okay, can you do us a demonstration Absolutely. for anything with food? So we can just yes. take that off. Awesome. Uh, well, I mean, I'm 